All right, what do you got there, buddy? A welding mask. Yep. Just opened out of the box. And we might not even need it for this swing arm. So I thought I was going to have to cut that, cut some notches back here and bend it open. But I actually can kind of get this wheel in there. And that was not, uh, for whatever reason, I looked at this a couple months ago, I couldn't get it. But this time, it looks like I'll be able to. I don't know if it, because uh, that was originally after I first took the wheel off. I don't know if it just kind of sprung open after a couple months without being bolted down. But I th I'm just going to barely have to bend this to get it in there just a little bit better. Just barely. So we're not cutting, we're not welding. We are gonna have to weld a bracket for the uh, for this. So this goes on here, and we'll have to stick a little knob out like that that'll go into this hole at the top there. Keeps it from spinning this way under high torque. And then we'll have to do something for the brake, some type of bracket for the brake back here for the caliper. How we're gonna try to bend this thing apart. I just got a little floor jack and uh, it's gonna stick it in between each of those and it's only gotta go like a quarter of an inch, it's not much. All right, stand back, buddy. playing with a hammer, pounding a piece of wood. Try letting this off and double check it again. All right, what do you think, kid? It's good. I got it in there. Just that slight uh, use of the car jack got this thing bent just uh, fine. Just barely opened it up. Problem with the caliper conversion bracket. So this bike was originally set up for drum brakes and we're putting a new hub motor on and wanted to put a disc on here with caliper. So this bracket, from what I've seen other people do this bigger hole here where my finger's sticking through it that's supposed to go through the axle and uh, put a mount like this where the that front leg kind of faces towards the front of a bike you have to have some kind of a brace on there to keep it from rotating So it, it really won't fit to put it like that. I've seen other ones where maybe there'd be something we could just weld a, a knob on the frame up here. But that doesn't work. So it's got to be like more like this. But the problem is this hole is too small. So you can see the axle there. It starts off a little smaller or it's threaded and it gets bigger. So we're gonna have to ream this hole out, drill it a little bit bigger. And I don't have a bit that's that size. So we were able to use the Dremel tool with just the sanding drum to open up that hole just a little bit. So before it wouldn't go on. And now, so that'll go all the way on. So that didn't take too much work. A little, little irritated it didn't fit before, but it wasn't hard to open that up. 
Yeah, I thought about putting it in a drill press, but I didn't have a bit that was big enough for that. So we just opened it up with the grinder or the Dremel. I want to give you an update on the QS motor, hub motor install on the 1978 Kawasaki 125. So you can see I got it to fit now. So the brake and stuff over here was a little bit tricky, but figured out how it's gonna work. I had to open up the hole for the axle. So we've got just one spacer on the axle now. Uh, so this one we're not using, this is the bigger one. There's a smaller one in there. So I got that plus the bracket for the caliper. So you'll notice that they make this little bracket here, this rectangular piece. There's a little hole right here. So the way this is set up with the shock mount, uh, there's really not a spot I can drill a hole. Um, if you look real close in there, it might be hard to see with that light, but the slot on the dropout is like right there. So. There is enough room. I'm gonna to try to weld a little rod, like right there. It'll just stick out, kind of like these nubs up here for the seat. So I'll just have a little rod sticking out, like you know, a centimeter or something. Um, I tried a three-eighths rod. I happen to have that. That's too big, so maybe quarter inch or something like that. So I had the the girl help me here. What do you think, kiddo? Looks good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, kind of worked out that this brake kit came with a lever that fits on the left side. So that's where the clutch would have been. So this had a foot control for the rear brake before. So now I got it up here where the clutch was and the old front brake lever is just gonna stay in the same spot. So that works out pretty cool. And uh, one thing about this caliper, is this bracket down here. I don't know what, how we're exactly we're gonna position that. So this will move, I tightened it down pretty good so it's not really rotating, but this has a little bit of play where it can go, you know, like this. So I'm gonna weld on a little piece of flat bar stock right here that'll hang down and then we'll just drill a hole in it and we'll stick a, a bolt through here and they'll have probably like a, a cotter pin or something to hold it in place so it doesn't rotate. So all we're trying to do is just keep it from doing this because it pivots on the rear axle. So we'll figure that out. I want to wait till I get the tire mounted. So I got to find a dealer that will uh, put a tire on here. I'm going to try to go with something that's like uh, dual sport. So mostly off-road, but a little bit of maybe street use in the neighborhood and stuff.